How's it going YouTube? It's been a while since I posted a video and this video is not going to be much better because it is currently about 1 a.m. and I have to be up in about mm, five hours uh, before work. So I'm just going to shoot this quick video out for a system that I have built and explain a few of the components in the system. So here you go. So here is the system in question. As you can see, it is pretty blinging right now. You have all this nice RGB on the fans and on the RAM, RGB fans in the front, the tempered glass side panel showing all the components on the inside. But of course, any system can look pretty. What matters is on the inside that counts. Let me go ahead and open up the side panel and give you an idea of what, of what I'm talking about. With the side panel off, you can get a pretty good idea of what's in this system. First off, the platform. Underneath this cooler is a Ryzen 5 5600X. That's right, Zen 3, baby. If you've been paying attention to computer technology recently, you will know that the new Zen 3 Ryzen 5000 series chips are simply top of the line in terms of gaming. This core 12 thread processor absolutely screams for both gaming and productivity. Now, in order to cool this processor, I have the VTrue V5 RGB tower cooler. This cooler cools way above its weight class. With five heat pipes, this cooler cools better than many all-in-one coolers. The performance is really impressive. In fact, J2Sense actually did a video on this exact cooler and it is just phenomenal. For memory, we have 32 gigs, of DDR4 3600 speed memory, 16 gig DIMMs each, RGB bling, CL16, wickedly fast and a lot of memory for games now and to the future. And even for productivity work, this is just fantastic memory for that. For motherboard, you have an MSI B550 motherboard. And for storage, you have a one terabyte M.2, which is actually behind this little heat plate right here. Now, of course, the important part is this bad boy right here. These cards are extremely hard to come by these days. Well, to be honest, any graphics card is hard to come by. So I've been able to get a couple of different graphics cards to date. And this one is by far one of the most beautiful. This is a Gigabyte Vision GeForce RTX 3060 graphics card. The white edition. That's right, boys. You got a white card. I can't tell you how many times people have asked just to buy this card because they want to do an all white build and they need the card to do it. This graphics card is pretty unique in that it has the pass through fan right here. So as you can see, this little hole right here, lift this up, it's that's where the heat, heat fans are at. There's a fan on the bottom, pulls the hair up all the way to the top and flows to the top. Very similar to the Founders Edition cards. So here are the components. How well does the game? Well, I'll go ahead and put the benchmarks on the screen so you have an idea of what I'm talking about. But to summarize briefly, this system performs very well as an eSport title machine, as well as for RTX AAA gaming. The 3000 series cards are really phenomenal in performance and they're very power efficient as well. Case in point, speaking of power, the power supply in the system is, a, is an EVGA 600 watt bronze rated power supply. It's a non-modular power supply, but, but for this system, that's perfectly fine. I can hide all the cables, as you can see, make it a nice clean look, even despite it being non-modular. If you're interested in purchasing the system, I'll go ahead and put the links down below in the, in the video description. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave a like comment below. Until next time.